Do you like it, Nana? Another golden rose, how original. I eat from plates stamped with roses. I sleep in sheets embroidered with roses. I have a golden rose painted on my chamber pot, as if that makes it smell any better. Roses are boring, dear. Growing strong. Ha! The dullest words of any house. Winter is coming. Now oh, that's memorable. We do not sow. Strong, strong, those are houses you watch out for. Dire wolves and krakens, fierce beasts. But a golden rose growing strong, ha, that strikes fear in the heart. Look, little loves, a spider in the garden. Run along now, grow strong. My lady. I wanted to personally welcome you to King's Landing. The city has been made brighter by your presence. The city is made brighter by my presence. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? You here to seduce me? A little obvious, perhaps. Oh, no, please. Seduce away. It's been so long. Though I rather think it's all for naught. What happens when the non-existent bumps against the decrepit? Question for the philosophers. But you've come mincing all this way for something, so? Might I sit? No. Calm. I've heard you're such a clever man. I'm curious why you've sought me out. You've taken an interest in Sansa Stark. Have I? Because I spoke to her once in this garden and one of your little spies came running to tell you. Why shouldn't I take an interest? She's an interesting girl. Is she? No, not particularly. She's had an interesting childhood. She has, sadly. Well, forgive me for wasting your time, then. I thought we shared certain hopes for her well-being. Come, come. You surrender rather easily. Walk with me. I know the walls have ears, but apparently the shrubbery does, too. I choose my allies carefully, and my enemies more carefully still. Which is Sansa Stark? Neither. A babe in the woods. I admired her father. Yes. Ned Stark had many admirers. And how many stepped forward when the executioner came for his head? I could not help Lord Stark. Perhaps I can help his daughter. How? You're not the only one who has taken an interest in her. That's hardly surprising. She's a beautiful girl with a famous name. Indeed. She'd make a lovely match for the right suitor. It almost feels as if you're about to arrive at the point. Littlefinger is not long for the capital. A confidant of mine has told me that when he goes, Sansa Stark goes with him. Why have you come to me with this matter? Littlefinger was born with no lands, no wealth, no armies. He has acquired the first two. How long before he has the army? Perhaps you'll laugh, but I know him better than most, and this is the truth. Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. If Rob Stark falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the North. And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. Which seems such a shame. Why should a man with such a low reputation steal away such a lovely bride? You must despise him. You're working so hard to undermine him. Actually, I rather enjoy him. But he would see this country burn if he could be King of the Ashes. You are a clever man, Lord Varys. You are too kind. I believe I have a possible solution. One doesn't need to be clever for that. It's all rather obvious, isn't it? 